Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new Dick J. Wilson STEM video. All right, so um, this video, obviously, you can see where we're still at. We're still in Pisco. All right, Pisco is a really fun and a really cool app to work in. Um, it allows you to do some really cool animation things. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple, uh, some. I'll say intermediate advanced things to do on Pisco. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to import an image. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to do some things called adding layers. Okay. Layers, you know, like onions, onions have layers <laughs> for those of you Shrek fans like myself. All right. So obviously to import an image, we're going to go over here to this last bottom box, this last little icon where it says import. And you want to click on that and I am going to browse my images. Now I've already gone onto the internet. I've already grabbed a couple images that I wanted to use. Okay. So I'm going to add my city and then I'm going to there. All right. So here is my city that I'm going to add. Now, a couple things that you need to understand. Um, the, we talked about this before, the greatest size, the larger it is, the more pixels it is, okay? The more detailed it is. The, if you want, you can lower those numbers to, to make your image in a sense smaller, okay? But I'm gonna leave mine the way that it is and I'm gonna go ahead and import my image, okay? All right, so there is my beautiful, beautiful city, okay? Now, when just say if I wanted to animate a plane drawing in front of my city here, okay? What I could do, then I could just go ahead and grab my tool. And y'all remember, y'all know I am not an artist, okay? You guys know this, all right? So don't make fun of my plane, okay? Let's not make fun. All right, so um, I want to draw my plane, all right? So my plane is was in the city and um, it's taking off, right? And uh, there's the front of my plane, and there's a wing of my plane. All right. And um, there's a horizontal stabilizer, and there's a vertical stabilizer on my plane. Yes, I know it looks, it's not the be most beautiful plane in the world, but you know, it's. It's just good for now. All right, now check this out, okay? So just if I were trying to animate this, right? Um, I really couldn't do it. Uh, I'd have to draw it. I have to erase it and then draw it in every step, okay? But there's a different way to do this. Like, like so for example, I couldn't use like that move tool that I showed y'all before because that move tool would move my entire image. Um, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to undo a few things. I'm going to undo my image here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add layers. So what a layer is, is well, just like onions have layers. You have one thing on the back, then you have another, then you have another and another and another and another. Okay. So what you're able to do is my backdrop right now, my, my, my last layer is my city seed, okay? What I can do is I can add another layer, right? By pushing on this button right here. So I'm gonna add a layer. And it's gonna kinda of like gray out my city because now I'm on a different layer, okay? And what I do on this layer does not affect my city scene okay so if i wanted to now let's draw my plane okay and i'm gonna draw this one maybe a little bit you know won't take it as much time so there's my plane and there's my stabilizers in the back okay all right so there's my amazing artwork plane okay Cool? Great. 
So check this out. So now what I can do is now I can do what I've normally done before, where it's adding those frames, right? And then as I add the frames, you'll start to notice my creations start to come to life, okay? So let's do this. So if I duplicate this frame, now I'm gonna grab my hand tool, right? And now I can move my plane and I'm gonna pretend like my plane is taking off into the sky. Okay, duplicate that one. And I'll do a, a few more frames. You know what that's good enough so now you can kind of like see over here and actually i'm going to enlarge this um you'll see my animation start to come to life okay so sorry it looks like weird on your on your screens but it's only because my computer has so much stuff going on right now all right so there is my animation all right, but check this out, check this out, check this out, okay? You can all, you don't just have to stop with two layers, okay? So just say if I wanted to, I could add a third layer, right? And listen, one of the things that's gonna be very important is when you add like that third layer or whatever layer, make sure that you start, that you go back to that first frame and you start drawing on the third layer of the first frame because if you if you just add the third layer and you're still on the seventh frame and you want to draw what's happened at the beginning well you could have some problems with that okay all right so let's um on this first frame i'm going to uh change my color here i'm going to grab a red and then i'm going to draw a circle again i'm just drawing stuff. i'm just being creative just to show you some stuff that you can do so i'm going to draw uh, a red circle and I'm going to fill in that circle okay so there is my red circle in the sky and then what check this out what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that frame so now it's on the second frame and then I'm going to um, move my red ball Okay, I'll duplicate that, move it some more, duplicate that one, move it some more, duplicate that, move it some more. And so now you can kind of see the animation, okay? Now you might notice like if there's a little pause here and that's only because I didn't draw the red ball on these other frames. If I wanted to, I could just continue to duplicate it. So that way it stays on each one of those frames. So duplicate it there and duplicate it there. So now it looks much more cohesive. Okay. Oops, don't want to do that. All right. So that is how you add layers into your Pisgol images. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, to type to type them or add or or put them inside the video and ask them, and I'll do my best to respond to you. Um, but one of the most important things is don't ask the video questions because the video can't respond. Ding. All right. With that, thanks for watching and hashtag as always go build something cool, but positive, you know, don't build any, you know, flux capacitors or 
anything like that because those might be quite, you know, not very positive. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, remember, have, hashtag go build something cool. STEM is fun. All right. Peace out.